Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Middleware AI Academy. In today's Linux tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a local YAM repository from an ISO image. This is very useful when your system has no internet access and you still need to install packages. By the end of this video, you'll be able to configure a repo file and install packages completely offline. So let's start. So let's check via rpm-qa command if wget package is installed or not. So here I have typed the command. So it's already installed. Now let's check for any other package. For example, httpd rpm-qa httpd. So this package is not installed. Now it's the time to use our hero yum repository from an ISO image. So let's begin the show. Run lsblk command to list information about SSD, partition and USB drives. Now you can see ISO image is already mounted. Now let's create a new directory using mkdir. We can keep any name for example ISO drivers. Here mkdir and you can keep any uh, file name as for, directory name as per your choice. Now go inside ISO image. From here, copy app stream and base OS directory to our ISO drivers directory. Both of them are copied now. Now let's go inside etc yum dot repos dot d. And create a new file, take any name as per your choice, for example ISO drivers dot repo and add some parameters here. In first section type drivers1 under brackets, you can keep any name. So here drivers1 under name equals to type anything like this is app stream package. This is AppStream package under base URL. Now un base under base URL equals to give path of AppStream directory. Here it's now path AppStream directory. Now under enabled. Under enabled equals to give 1 to make it enable under gpg check give 0 add another section for base os in this section type drivers to under brackets make sure there is no space here so now under name equals to type anything like this is ba base os package under base url equals to give path of base os directory now again yes now directory yes done now under enabled now we are going to do under enabled again give one to make it enable 
and under GPG check equals to give zero. Yes, wait and save the file. And now we are going to run command yum clean all. So wait. Oh, I see a warning means something is mistyped. Let me open the file again and check what's wrong. Oh, I see equals to is missing. Let me first. Let me edit it and save the file now. Now it's correct. So it's all fine. Let's again run yum clean all. So now yum clean all. We have run the command again. Looks all good now. Now yum repo, repo list all. Now we are going to run this command to see if repos are enabled or not. And it looks all good and enabled. As you can see status is enabled. Now run yum list pipe grep drivers1 pipe wc hyphen l to check how many packages are here which can be installed. So it's uh, wait we have run the command which is yum list pipe grep drivers hyphen 1 pipe wc hyphen l. It's 5218 packages. Now check for the drivers2 section also with the same command. Now it's 666 package. Now check again to see if HTTP package is installed or not. So we have to run again the same command run rpm qa httpd and Now run yum list pipe grep httpd to see if yum can install httpd package or not. Yes, it can install. I think so. Let's run yum install httpd to install the package. Type y to install all dependencies so type y we have type y to yes to install all dependencies finally it's installed it's installing actually and it's going to be installed soon so wait and it's verifying now is going to be installed so now it's installed completed yes now to check run rpm hyphen qa httpd again and now it's showing it means it's stalled so that's how you set up a yum repository from a local iso in linux this method is super helpful for offline environments or secure servers in upcoming videos i'll show you more linux tricks and middleware tutorials. If you find this useful, just don't forget to hit the buttons like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.